Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Again, we are going to see a scenario based question which may be asked in the interview or by the client. So, the scenario is you work as a data analyst for a retail company that operates across the multiple states in US. The company's management has requested a comprehensive Power BI report that identifies and highlights the top three states based on the sale performance. The report should be interactive and visually engaging allowing stakeholders to gain the insight quickly and make informed decisions. So the steps here are, first step is we'll create a bar chart here. Then second step is we'll create a major here. So we are going to use here the rank function. And the third step, we will highlight our top three states here. So the visual will look like this. Here you can see we have created this bar chart. Okay. And we have highlighted this top three states which are having the highest sales same way we can show in the table okay so this is our scenario and now let's see how to do this so first let me open the new page here okay first we'll create a chart here so we'll go to our this is our data i have imported this data and here we want to see a state wise sales Okay, so first we'll go to this visual gallery and here we'll take this cluster chart. Okay, and here we'll take state and the sales. Now, here you can see we are getting state wise sales. Okay, so here uh, you can see California. New York and Texas is having a maximum sales. But the scenario uh, the client want these top three should be highlighted in a color. Okay. It should be visually represent the top three states. Okay. So for that uh, what we can do here we are going to create one major here. So the major name is here I have already created. Here you can see this is a rank major I have used here. So, this rank function is used to calculate the ranking of a specific value within a specified column based on the provided expression. Then we have added the all function here. This part of formula returns a table that consists of all the unique values from the state column in a table. Irrespective of any filter context. Means here all removes any existing filter apply to the state column. Then we have used the calculate function here which is used to calculate the sum of sales for each state. Calculate alters the filter context for the calculation and the sum of sales will give you the total sales for each state. And finally we have used the DSC, de descending function. It will give you the descending order. So we have used this rank x function here to get a state in different ranks in descending order okay so let's check with the, uh, this with the table so let's create one table here uh, we'll go here and we'll create one table okay and in table again we'll take the state first okay then we'll take the sales here and we'll take our rank function here now here you can see the we can see the ranking here okay just click this two times now you can see here we are getting the ranks so california new york and texas is having the one, first second and third rank okay so we want this top 3 okay now we have to highlight this so here again we are going to create another major okay so we are going to use this if conditional clause here so, for getting the top three state cells wise, we are going to use is equal to if function, if the rank is less than three, then we should get the red color here. So, this is the condition. Okay. So, condition in conditional uh, clause, you have to mention the statement first and if it is true and if it is false. Okay. So, if it is true, if the rank is less than three, then it should give a red color and if it is not then it should be blank so we don't have to mention here we are just mentioning if it is less than 3 it should show red so 
it is not just about the getting top three we can get top two top five anything okay and then you have to mention here the color or you can give the color code here okay so i have mentioned here the red color right now here we have to highlight the top three by using conditional formatting okay now we have created these two measures okay one is the rank and next is the top three now for getting a conditional formatting what we can do here we will go to the format we'll select the visual first then go to the format here here in the format section here you go to the bars okay here you can see the default color so we have now it is all blue okay now we have to change the color of a top three it should come as a red okay so here you will go for conditional formatting make this property change under different condition that you define so we, ha we have to define here we have already created the top three major okay so just click this here in the format style click this drop down and here you have to select the field value okay and what field should be based on then just click this drop down and open our data and select our major here so our we'll select this top three major okay where we have mentioned that we should highlight it the rank is equal to or less than three and just press ok now you can see here it is been highlighted top three is been highlighted here but you can see here uh, there are many uh, states if you want to decrease these states what we can do here for that what we can do here go to here filter here we can put the filter on the visual okay so here for the state click this drop down and here in filter type you just select top n and here there are many so we'll select the top 12 here okay so we'll write here 12 and by value by which value we have to make the top 12 so here we will take our cells and we'll put here and just apply filter now here we can see we are getting the top 12 and in top 12 we are getting a top 3 state cells wise okay so these three states are having the highest cells which is california new york and texas same conditional formatting you can do for this table as well for creating a conditional formatting for tables just select the table then go to the format here here in a cell element yeah here in the cell element here you can see we can change the background color font color icons and wave url so if you want to change the background of these first three then you can do that and if you want just to change the format uh, color of a font then you can use this font okay just uh, turn on this and here again you have to select the field value then again here you have to select our major top three and just press ok now here you can see it has been highlighted okay so this is how we can highlight the top three states in a given visual hope you understood how to do this see you in the next video thank you for watching